are you? I'm still in my chair. We're coming on week three of the herniated disc. Slowly but surely, we're getting better. Um, I can like walk around. I'm still not 100%. So that's why like the videos are coming slow. And what I'm actually doing today is I'm preparing for a collab I'm doing. It's an, a Wizard of Oz collab with so many amazing people. <sighs> Sneakers. And it's premiering um, June 11th. Um, it's like a whole weekend of a lot of people. Anyways, so what I'm doing, if you watched my last video, I was asking for opinions, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm doing the Yellow Brick Road, okay? And there's a style that I did when I first started going big. Um, and I'll show you a close up of what I'm talking about. But I do like a middle swipe. But when I first started, because maybe I didn't put enough paint or I was like swiping weird. Anyways, I didn't really get full coverage, but it really gave interesting shapes. And I've been trying to like recreate it, but I can't because like I'm so good now. <laughs> just kidding. But you know, like I, I just can't redo what I used to do as hard as I try. So I'll show you what I mean in a minute. But what we're gonna do is mix up a bunch of gold and compare them, okay? And I'm gonna be using them for different things because I can't just use, can I just use gold and just be a gold swipe? I don't know. I can't just use pigments, so I'm gonna use a different um, tubes and things like that. So I figured why not compare all the golds that I have I don't have every gold in the world, but I have, a, you know, a good amount um, for you to compare as well. And we're even going to see what happens if we kind of make our own too. Okay. Uh, let me show you. I'm pointing over here because they're on my wall. Uh, let me show you my old school swipes. And also, I don't even know if I videoed them or not. Um, because back in the day, actually, I gave a little inspirational speech on my Instagram or something, but I'll give you a little speech too. Um, I've had a lot of time to reflect these past few weeks. Mo's coming down. Uh, Cause I've been laying in bed a lot. Having, oh, he's running, he hears me talking. Oh, he's missing. He's like, I'm, I'm, I'm missing out on the video. Um, anyways, I've had a lot of time to reflect. And what I realized is one of the things I regret doing is not videotaping everything that I did when I first started doing YouTube because I wanted it. I thought you, no one would watch unless it was like a perfect, amazing, wow worthy video. So I only like taped things that I thought would end up wow worthy. And so I was only producing like one video a month. Who knows? I don't even know how many. So if you're like worried about being good, enough people won't watch just keep creating because that's how you get your energy out there that's my little um speech why did mo come running down he ran somewhere okay i'll show you my pieces and then let's play with some gold okay these are the two that i'm talking about now up up close you might be like ew why do you love these so let's see what i did here first of all there's so many problems um Hold on. So you see, I filled in some of the lines with gold. So remember from far away, you can't really tell the blemishes. Um, you can see like melty cell activator, all that stuff. And the same thing up here too. But there's just like something about them that I really enjoy. So this is the vibe, and I've tried to do it again, but the problem is now, because I put the proper amount of paint, I don't leave any of that white, but I do like the look of that white. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, these are some of the golds that we have, and we're gonna play with more. Uh, it looks kinda crazy right now, bloop. Okay, so, and these are just my own personal opinions. Ugh, there's still wet paint there about these golds okay so you may disagree and that is totally fine by me i'm just wiping this up um but not all golds are made the same so <clears throat> my opinion of amsterdam golds they work great for cell activator um 
maybe I'll mix it up as a cell activator. I don't love it in my pore medium only because I'm spoiled from, because I know there, there's a better sparkle out there. For instance, like for me, when it comes to actual just sparkle, it will always be TLP, that's it. However, you can definitely add TLP to this, but the reason why it works well is because in your pouring medium, if you need something that has uh, some body to it, so things don't sink, you can use this. And I've added sparkly things to this and it makes it work better. But that's Amsterdam, okay? Now also I use Atelier as, um, a cell activator as well. This one, I don't know if it's super thick, I think because it's very old. You've seen me use this as a cell activator before. It's very bright. Um, I think it's okay in pouring medium. I actually don't use it that much in pouring medium, but I could, and maybe I'll mix up some today. Um, here, I'll put them this way so you can see. Can you see? Yeah. Okay, next we have golden iridescent, honestly. Nothing that special for me. Again, it's missing that um, sparkle. I'm just trying to see if I can like get some out for you to see. Mm. Maybe I'll use this little cup. It's okay. Um, apparently I've used it. I don't think I've used it in years. Come on. There we go. I mean, it's fine, but it's very pale and again not um super sparkly here why don't i compare since i did that okay so that was the golden okay let me schmooze a bit of this on this is quite thick and again you can see it's like this i don't know if it's that's what it's supposed to be or because it's old but it's fine for my cell activator it works just fine but you see also not a sparkly and it's very hard to get a sparkle fest in a tube because of all the fillers and stuff but as i said they do have their purpose and here's the amsterdam okay let me spread that out a bit for you okay so the amsterdam looks smoother obviously than this grainy um i tell you but again it could be just grainy because of me okay um, next. So when I first started painting, uh, way in the beginning, I used so much li Liquitex. I don't use that much anymore, but I do have a few of my favorite colors and maybe I'll bring them out, um, and do some like super old color combos. When I first started, I wasn't even, I did pay attention to colors. I didn't pay attention to opacities. I don't know what I, I was just trying to get cells. So, but I, I created some really crazy stuff. This also I haven't used in a while. Let's compare it. Okay, so it's a little bit lighter than the uh, Amsterdam. You know, it's not too shabby. So, so far, um, the golden, I don't, but again, maybe I just don't like pale golds. So that could just be, you know what I mean? So, all right all right but sparkle wise there's not none of these are super sparkly yet although this liquitex gold isn't so bad so far you know now let's get to this was my absolute before piggies came this was my absolute favorite color deco art 24 karat gold it's on most of my old paintings. Let me mix it up some more. These have been sitting for so long because <laughs> I haven't used it, but I'm definitely, I, that's what I used in my old painting. So I'm definitely going to use it, I think, you know, for memory's sake. So let's see. Like this has actual like, sh <laughs> and I hate, I hate glitter, but this is quite glittery. I'm gonna show you. You can definitely see a difference and you can see like it's, you have to shake it. There's, it separates from its liquid. So it's not as tube form. And I don't think it has as many fillers as those do. Okay. So, so far this one actually has 
mini pieces of glitter in it. So if that's what you're into, um, that's what you should get. Okay, next we have, now, you know I love tri art. Um, actually, you haven't tried this as a size better. I don't, I didn't love this, but maybe I used the pale gold. I didn't love the pale gold from what I remember in my pouring medium, but I don't want to judge it because this looks quite bright, but hold on. You know what? So that this has a lot of filler in it. I think this would be good, um, as a cell activator because people are loving the tri -art cell activators lately. The, this is quite thick. Again, it's more like the Atelier. Um, in terms of thickness and color. So it's quite dull compared to, let's say, these two. So, so far the winners for me are the Liquitex and the Extreme Sheen. Probably the cheapest ones here too, huh? Okay, don't quote me on that. Now, so this is the Tubies. Probably my all-time favorite, which I will mix up. I don't think I'm gonna mix all these up, to be honest. I just did wanna show you the comparison, okay? My all-time favorite, just pretty standard sparkly gold is TLP Ore, okay? Now, another one of my favorites is TLP Lemon Sorbet, and you're saying, but it's Lemon Sorbet, it's yellow. But it actually shows up as quite gold as well. And I will be mixing up TLP Ball Gown which is, I just got paint everywhere. Right? They're gold interference, okay? Now, this is what I wanted to do for my collab, is make my own, see what happens when I mix. One of my favorite things, which is Tri Art Iridescent Pearl. It turns any, co any color into a pearl with one of my favorite yellows, diorite yellow. Why don't we just do that right now? So let's start then mixing up actual my paints for the collab because as I said, I have to prepare ahead of time. Um, I'm definitely going to, so as we're voting, you tell me what, which ones are your favorite actually. Um, I'm definitely in to the Liquitex and I'm definitely gonna do just for funsy, the Extreme Sheen. So the rest I can put away and I maybe I'll make a gold cell activator. I'm not sure yet. But that was actually good for me to see too. Because I don't use Liquitex often, but like it always treated me very well in the past, you know? Okay, so let's get our cups out. I'm really excited to try this first idea that I had, which is the Tri Art and the Dyer Eye Yellow. Okay. Let's get organized here. So let me tell you what I'm mixing. So I'm gonna mix the Deco Art. I don't think I'm gonna mix the Liquitex, that's overkill. I'm gonna mix the TLP Ore, and I'm gonna mix uh, some pinks as well, which we'll discuss. But let's start with, um, just so we're organized here. Okay, so I'm gonna start mixing this Tri Art, which you can get at Fluid Art Company, and Gold and Diorite Yellow. So I'm going to grab Everything takes me so long. <laughs> My can of paint, which is quite heavy, Lisa Marvin, so don't go fast. Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna bloop it right in, okay? Might as well just do a few bloops in the other ones. Well, actually, no, because I'm gonna do piggies. Okay, ready? Bloop. We're just gonna start with a, well, I'll do a little bit more because I think I wanna go big. Okay, two bloops. Two bloops. Remember that commercial? Two scoops of raisin in a package of Kellogg's raisin bread. Okay. Oh God. That was good. Now, so, you know, we don't measure here. I probably put too much actually, to be honest. Um, I put about three ounces in here and then we're gonna go, cause remember I, I'm, I'm adding two paint to it. If I was just adding this, it would be okay but I'm probably gonna have to add a lot of Josanya because I was too busy singing. You know what I could do actually? I'm going to just mix this up and put some of this in the, another thing because I don't want to 
get in trouble and, and waste stuff. Okay, one moment, please. Yeah, see, it's quite thick, and, add, and then I would have to add some more. So we're just gonna go like this. That's better. And now I have more room for this. And then we can add our color. So I'm only, because I don't want it very yellow, I do want it more gold. So I'm gonna add like just a blue of um, the diorite yellow. Okay, ready? I think this is a new one. Yes, it is. It was too clean. Okay, let's see. I, I'm really curious. I hope it's not horribly ugly. Okay, bloop, just like that. Okay, let's close it up. And now we're going to bloop in this. Uh, oh, come on. Oh, there we go. We're going to bloop in like this. Blue. Okay, let's see how that looks. Okay, moment of truth. Is this ugly or not? Hmm, I might need more iridescent because it just lightened it up a little bit, but I'm not seeing the iridescence. It's like slightly iridescent, but too yellow. You know what? So this is where, if I wanted to lighten it up, I might add, you might think you add white, but no, because the white is opaque, it will dull the shine that we're looking for. So either I might add some zinc white, which is transparent, it would still dull it, but not as much, but I wanna avoid that. Cause I don't, although, no, this is still too yellow for me. See, I should have just put in, put like a little bloop of the yellow. It's definitely pretty, um, but it's a little too mustard for me. Don't be alarmed, we're gonna fix it, but that's not the vibe we're going for for our yellow brick road. So now you're thinking to yourself, what are you gonna do to fix that? Okay, I'm gonna make my own situa situation. I happen to have TLP White Haven here, which is kind of like a, a white pearl, okay? Let's see what happens. Now we're just having fun. If I mix up some of this, and I'm only gonna put a dot of this in here, okay? Because I really just want a light yellowish gold. Again, we're not sure what's gonna happen, but we are just playing here, okay? This is how I mix all my pigments. Again, I probably put an ounce of Drosonia. You can get that at Food Art Company too. Um, and then I just kind of eyeball. So you see, it makes this really nice pearl color. Okay, really pretty. I know you probably can't see the sparkle in it, but now into this pearl color, I'm just gonna add a, a dot, Let's see what happens. That's a very nice, more the vibe, you so you can tell the difference. It's lighter, right? Now, once I add more bear, we'll get even lighter. I really should put the bear in a cup, shouldn't I? To avoid this. One moment, please. I'm just gonna shloop all the bear in here so I don't have to keep reaching for it. Bloop, 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 bloop. Should be enough for now. Okay, cover her up. Now, let's see how we did. Now, I am gonna make my pigments a little thicker because I'm not gonna have so much tube paints to hold up my cell activator. This is a pretty color, actually. Very, like, daffodil inspired. And it does look um, goldish, like a pale gold. So here, buttercup, daffodil, I kind of like it. So you can see where I started and where I ended up. This can be used for something fun, I'm not really worried about it, but this is a really pretty gold color, okay? We're happy with this. Okay, next, so I'm gonna just cover this up over here in a moment. 
Morrison Rose. Yeah. I'm doing a video, so don't say anything rude. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, now. Hey guys, welcome to, welcome to the studio. So what are we doing today? Well, today I'm mixing up a bunch of different goals. Goals? Yes, because I'm doing a collab. Wait, Mom, I yep. have one question for you. Yes. Yes. This is this is not a gold. It is a white. Hold your let's see. Hold your horses. Oh, okay. Okay. What is your opinion? I actually made this color. What is your opinion? My opinion. It's not even gold. It's just white. There's oh. no gold qualities. Now that's gold. You think this one's gold? Yeah, it's gold. Well, do you like this color? No. Okay. First of all, I just very hard. <laughs> on making it. Okay, this is the 24 karat gold. This one you can't say is not gold. Oh, uh, it is gold. Yes. This Wait, is... is it actually 24 karat gold in there? Uh, I don't think so. I think they just call it 24 karat gold. <laughs> Hold on, I might need to add some more. So what well, I remembered is- Pause, it... Mom. You yeah. need to show that to the fans. Like, it's unacceptable if you don't show that to the fans. Just wait, though. Wait, it gets even better. So what I was gonna say was, I, I usually, and I probably use too much, but I usually use, like, half a two, half one of these in my four ounce cup. Guys, it, it, it's beautiful, like the paint. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? Guys? Yeah. <sighs> okay, you're dying for the gold? Yes, I'm not. Guys? You know what though, uh, this I, is too thin. Uh, so, you, I just wanna show I, you something. Just show, just show the viewers this paint. So, this for me is way too thin. So now, to thicken it up, I'm gonna add just straight bare to it. Because remember, I need everything. Wait, Bear 85? Bear 8300. I love you. Um, we have a sponsor for this video, Bear. I wish Bear would sponsor me. <laughs> um, oh, yes. I need everything of the perfect consistency so because go, I'm going go big. Go buy Bear paints, Bear 84, Bear anything. And, and I don't suggest buying a real life Bear. <laughs> some, some bears are nice. I see TikToks where they're cute. Okay. Yeah, some people own bales. They're kind of cute. This is still too thin. So now you say, uh-oh, Lisa, what are you going to do? That's okay. I'm just going to pour some of this into another cup to thicken because we're not taking any chances. So, guys, like and subscribe mm -hmm. because there's going mm -hmm. to be a, next, a new contest. Oh, God. Uh, I can't handle any contest. I have so much work, and I cannot keep up with what I'm doing. But thank you. You know what? We'll have a co how about we'll have a contest like when I feel better. Yeah, hustle back so not feeling good. No, but we're getting there slowly. So guys, let's talk about pollution and politics. <sighs> okay, you may excuse yourself. Thank you. Okay, so we have this, which isn't. It's okay. It's like not pizzazzy enough, but it will do. Hmm, I'm gonna pizzazz it up a little bit more. Do you see how, see the difference, how how concentrated this gold is compared to in my pouring medium? That's the only thing, like with this extreme sheen, you have to add a lot, a lot to it. No, no need to be funny. <laughs> Unless you have something interesting to say about golds. Yes. Okay, I do like this color better. Mm hmm. Is, is a mix? Yes. Is it, is it, it, a, let's say 24 karat gold dog. Okay. It's, it's meant for something called, search this, not sure it's even true. Okay. Called something called cutaneum. Mm -hmm. Now you're just making up words. Cool. It's, it's a chemical. Is it? Yes. I feel like you made it up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> you're not going to respect me. I'm so sorry. Okay, hold on. Pause your cutaneum talk for a minute. I'm about to mix four more pigments and that seems excessive because this is pretty sparkly, but we're just going with it. Now, in my yellow brick road, I'm adding a bit of pink because you know, pink and gold. So, so, so you're from Wizard of Oz. Yeah, I'm doing a Wizard of Oz collab. Huh. So we're gonna go ballet slipper. We're going, mm, I don't know if I need lemon sorbet with this. So maybe, okay, we're definitely going ball gown. And we're going or so i'm collabing with so many people so it's being led by nathan linsdale so, and his channel is the 
What, sweetie? Are you making a video about this? Yeah. So for I'm this for this is part one of me you mixing up the paints. You'll probably at school when I do this video. <laughs> you wanted to be part of it. Oh. Well, you can be part of this one. Yeah, this is like sneakers video. wants to be a part of it. Everybody wants to be part of it. He's because we have someone here. Someone's here? Yes. Oh. Okay. So we have ballet slipper. Oh, I love you. I love you, Joe. Okay, we have ballet slipper. Oh, that was a double one. Oh, this is new. A new ball gown. Mom, do you want to know something new? You always use ballet slipper. Do you know what? I haven't used ballet slipper in a long time, but I really enjoy the cup. Can you? sneakers to like relax oh look and it's a new oar how lucky Mom, can you uh, turn off because i'm going to fish it up to the dog no you won't say that to the dog thank you okay now i have about one ounce of joe sonia in each of these okay and now Is we this like a science experiment well no it's more like just how i measure so i'll probably do two of these scoops one Two. Now the reason you don't have to use this much, but because I go big, I want to make sure I have enough pigment. You know the saying, so go it's big, right. go home. Go big, go home. Look at this pretty color. So nice. And I hope you're watching this at home and safe. That's nice. Okay, so we have ballet slipper. Next, we will do ball gown. Same, we're going to go. Ball gown one, is mommy's favorite. Two. Ball gown is mommy's favorite. And then we're gonna go, thank you. Or one, two. Okay, so now let's talk about what how I'm gonna incorporate tube paints because tube paints are the most important. Okay, when we're doing all of these pigments, we need the tubies to hold them up or else we'll just have a melty mess. So I definitely know one tube, but I'm kind of scared because it's quite dark. It's one of my favorite dark colors. It's Triart graphite, graphite Gray. I've never used it on a big um, canvas, so I don't know how it stretches out. That's why I'm a little nervous. Uh, so, then I have to think of what color, because I don't want, I don't want like a main color, like a blue or a pink tube or a purple tube. I want it to be really light and flowy. Now. Yes, go. So guys, let's get off topic a little bit. No thanks. Bloop. <laughs> bloop. And bloop. All right. So here we go. Do you like my yellow brick road idea? You know, Mo, what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a swipe. See those on the wall? No. What? I'm going to make that like those two big ones on the wall, but I'm going to make it in gold. Mm -hmm. I, I know to say, money, money those two all go best in the whole thing. You think those were my best? Those were my earliest. Yeah, those are perfect conditions. Mm -hmm. Resin, beautiful. They are. I wouldn't sell them though, so you don't need to try to sell them. They're memories. Good memories, I would be worth at least 2,000 bucks. 2,000? I'm actually just going to examine this. <laughs> So, you can see the ballet slipper is very fair. So you're not gonna have like an in-your-face pink. Now this is why Or is my favorite gold. It's not too light, it's not too dark, and it's just like a really relaxed mid gold that look kind of nice. Okay, so now we have all the sparkles. Now let's, mm, I think it's a little too thin. I wanna make sure we're good. Uh, go subscribe to Rain and Pours and buy from Fluid Art. Yes, go subscribe to Rain and Pours. That's mm -hmm. Mitchell. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And buy from Fluid Art, correct. Which is Billy. Right, Billy owns Fluid Art Company. Mm -hmm. I, in, I'm not going to say go check out her channel, but Sh go check, but go check Shelly. Shelly? Yes, what you said. <laughs> Shelly, the queen of the bloom. She actually invented it. She did. And, and you should all thank her. You should. She made, she made me some almonds. She, she made she me. It. She did. Oh, and, and, don't, and don't forget yes. about 
Oh, oh yeah, Brie, Brie, we Cool Brie Studios. Go to Cool Brie Studios. Okay, hold, hold on, freeze your commercial. I really like it, but we're just thinking that. Okay, so now we have. You'll finish your commercial in a moment. First, we have to discuss. I have five sparkles, okay? That's quite a bit. So that's gonna be problematic, okay? Here is my graphite gray, which I love. Um, I just don't, I'm just nervous it'll be too dark. So let me pause for a minute and think about what we're gonna do next. I will be right back. Okay, so I think I've decided, so one of my favorite colors, um, is a triart rose gold. It's more of like a rose, they shouldn't call it rose gold, it's more of like a rose silver, but I just, oops, I just dropped something in there, hold on. Um, I just really like it, and maybe it will be a good, so it's sparkly, but it's still kind of a tube, and maybe I will just mix up some zinc white into my pouring medium, so there's like layers of tube paint. You know what I mean? Um, here's one cup. Oh, here's another cup here. We've got a lot going on, don't we? So, why don't I get some of this in here? And then, of course, I'm worried I have too much sparkle, but what are you gonna do, right? Because I just can't bring myself to um, mix a dark color with all of this, you know what I mean? Um, I'm gonna do one more there here. So basically, it's gonna be a little melty, okay? But, you know, sometimes you just gotta be a little melty. And I'm definitely going to do my best not to make it melty, but Okay, so the rose gold will go in this one. You notice I put less bare in this one. Okay, I love this color. I really do like tri art. Um, sneakers is growling. Okay, I'm almost done, sweetie. Look at how I'm almost done, honey. Look at how, I know you probably can't see in this light, but this is so pretty and it goes, I really love what's happening here. It's very pale, but it's got like a really good vibe. I hope it's not too pale. We'll do a swatch test. Okay, let me mix up the zinc and then we'll do a swatch test. And then we will see how it looks. Unfortunately, you guys are gonna have to wait a couple weeks to see the end result of what I did with these paints, no, but you guys can wait. Sneakers is growling. Uh-huh. He has to like Starbucks bag in his mouth. Oh, yeah, you know, cause you know what's in that Starbucks bag? What? I got your croissant. <laughs> That's why he's mad. He's like, don't take my croissant from me. He's growling like, ah, yeah, and that, he can Yes. Why is he, what's he barking at? Is he stuck somewhere? No, he's on top of the bed. Oh, I think he thinks he's stuck now. He, he's such a schmoo. Okay, now, you know what, honey? You see under that table, you see those little circles of wood? Would you mind yeah. passing me one so yeah. I can do a test and then we will be done this video for the Wait, day. we're doing, we're rolling? Yeah, we're rolling. Oh, I thought you were just talking to yourself. I know, I wasn't talking to myself. Although I do that often. Um, yeah, you got it. So guys, June 11th is when I'll be using these. I hope that, oh, thanks sweetie. June 11th, be there now. No, don't be there now. Be there. In June 11th. Be there in June 11th. <laughs> okay, so let's start. We if have. you don't be there, you're missing out. It will never, ever, ever happen again. That's true. Okay, we have the um, 24 karat gold. We have my custom. We have my custom. I'm actually really loving this color. Look at this. I'm going to show you in the light. I'm calling this marigold. Okay. 
Um, then we will go with the or. These are such pretty colors. Okay. Then we will go with the um, wall gown. Then we will go, and I'll do this, the rose gold. So pretty. Then we will go with the ballet slipper. Yes, sweetie? Nothing. Oh my God. This is pretty. It's fine. Pretty. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you the light. Let me know what you think of these golds. Which one was your favorite? I'm dying about this color combo. Thanks for joining me. And um, stay tuned for a video. I don't know what video I'm doing next, but we'll see. Bye.